spectator doesn't take a card, they're not forced a card, they merely think of one. I can't stress that enough. They're merely thinking of a card. You can cut and mix the cards as much as you like, but without your spectator ever mentioning it, you can dead cut to their card every single time. It's better than that. The spectator cuts to their own thought of card. What are the chances of that? 52 to one on Wayne Fox. I know that some of you already uh, recognize some of the uh, techniques in, in, in like a poker face and that kind of thing. What I'm gonna do though is spread the cards face up onto the table, okay? <clears throat> and I'm gonna turn away and let you look at one single card. Is that okay, yeah? Mm -hmm. Obviously not this top one, that's too obvious. But as I do that, just look at one single card. Do you have one? Mm -hmm. Got one? Yeah? You got one, yeah? Mm -hmm. Grant. It's a, uh, it's a high card, right? Yeah. Let, look, actually, don't don't spoil it. Don't don't, don't give away any, any secrets of the poker face. What I want you to do is make a single cut, uh, roughly in the middle, somewhere. <clears throat> Just lift some up. Okay. Keep it keep it like that. If you was to change your mind now, you would see. You would see, we, we would all see him do it. But what's important with this, and it is very important is that you realise you didn't take a card out and put it back and then I could control it in some way. You can't do that. What's actually happened is that I spread the cards face up on the table and you have looked at one card and the cards have been squared back up. You didn't take it out. You're just thinking of a card. What is the card that you're thinking of? Seven of Diamonds. I've not touched anything. And you are thinking of a card. Turn it over to exactly where you cut it. <laughs> what are the chances of that? 52 to 1 on Wayne Fox.